Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video over on my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Make sure that you subscribe over to the channel right there and make sure that you hit that like button. I am really excited for today's video because I'm gonna talk about a question that I get all the time from clients, from you guys, questions on my podcast, and that's how do I balance running and strength training? If you didn't know right now, I actually talk about this on my podcast, you should totally listen in. I am training for a half marathon right now. In terms of how many half marathons I've done, I wanna say this is probably, I don't know, probably my like seventh to 10th, somewhere in there. Um, my very first race that I ever did was a 5K back when I was 20 years old. So we're thinking like 2004. So it was quite a while ago and since that time, my fitness has completely changed. I've gone through periods where racing was super important to me, and then I've gone through periods where strength training is really important to me. So how do you balance the two? Well, the real answer is you can't. <laughs> you just kind of have to figure out what's important to you at that moment, and you have to make sure that you don't give up one or the other depending on what your current goals are. For me, for example, total health and total fitness is extremely important. So I'm never just going to strength training and I'm never gonna just run. So even when strength training is extremely important, I still make sure to get in a couple of runs per week just to help me work on keeping my endurance up. I never wanna have to say no to a fun opportunity because I'm not in the shape to be able to do it. So that's why it's always important to me to be in some sort of running shape. I'm not talking about going out and running PR I just want to be able to go run a 5k, a 10k, a half marathon if that comes around. So I do run a couple of times per week, but 90% of the time over the past five years, strength training has been my number one goal. And that means that my running is going to suffer a little bit. I'm not going to be running at the same pace I am as when I'm training for a race, let's say. Now the same thing goes the opposite way. When I am training for a race, I have to be okay with the fact that my strength is gonna suffer a little bit because I am gonna put some more time and energy into trying to get my runs faster. You can't work on speed and endurance at the same time as trying to build muscle and work on ultimate strength. Those two things are never gonna be balanced. One's always gonna be up a little bit more than the other. And you have to ask yourself if you're okay with that and that's gonna help you determine what you should do going forward in order to balance it the best that you can. So for me, what that generally looks like is on a normal time period when I am not training for a race, I generally do strength training between three to four times per week, a good solid strength training. And then I do one to two running workouts per week where I maybe just go run a couple of miles or on Saturdays I run with a group, um, but I never focus on like an actual speed workout per se. But if I am working on trying to get ready for a race, that's gonna flip a little bit. I might have to cut back on my strength and try to do that uh, two to three times per week. And then I'm going to add in an extra run. So maybe I'll start running three times per week. That's if you're trying to actually improve. If you're just going out and running a fun run, just do what you're doing as long as you have that endurance build up. For me personally, I have the outlook when it comes to racing that races are expensive. <laughs> and if I'm gonna race in something, I'm gonna race in something. So that just means during this period of my training, I'm gonna have to see my strength go down a little bit. That's okay while I work on my speed. And so one thing's gonna get better and that makes it all worth it. Now a couple of things that you can do so that if you are starting to train for some sort of race and your running's picking up and your strength's kind of simmering down a little bit, make sure that you're fueling your body properly so that you lose as little muscle mass as possible. So make sure that you're getting really high quality carbs and make sure that you're keeping your protein intake up high and make sure, please, this is like the biggest thing that I see people doing is cutting back on their strength training too much when they're trying to focus on a goal such as trying to race in something, right? Um, they kind of go from strength training several times a week to cutting out all strength training and adding in all running. Not only is this gonna be ba bad for your overall strength and your muscle mass, but it's also going to put you at an increased race risk for injuries going forward with your running. Those two things go hand in hand. To be a faster runner, you need to add in that strength training, build up those hamstrings, get some really nice quads, build up your calves, core strength. The faster your arms can move and the faster your torso can kind of rotate, guess what? 
the faster finish you're gonna have. And the same thing actually goes with your strength training too. If you have a good cardio base, when you're in a different part periodization of your strength training, maybe you're doing reps of up to like 15, if you already have a nice cardio base built up, then you're gonna be better at that stage versus doing 15 reps and feeling like you just ran a half marathon. It's amazing how sometimes lifting weights for high reps can do that to you. So I don't think it's that you should ever avoid one or the other. It's just trying to figure out at that particular time what you should be spending a little bit more of your time with and what's gonna suffer just a little bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I wanted to answer that question for you guys. And I would love to know down below, are you training for anything specific right now? What's your favorite race distance? And what's your favorite strength training exercise? For me, so I'm actually getting ready to run the half marathon in Charleston called the Bohicket Half Marathon. It's the first, no, second weekend of November. And let's see, my favorite race distance goes between a 5K and the half marathon. I love a 5K because it's over pretty fast and you can push hard. And I love the half marathon because you can just kind of put on a good playlist and settle into your pace and just kind of go for it. Y'all, I hate the 10K distance because I just haven't figured out how to pace myself for that in-between zone where you wanna go a little bit faster than a 5K, but you don't wanna just sit back and go too easy either. So that's my least favorite. And then as term, in terms of what my favorite strength training exercise is, it's a tie between pull-ups and barbell squats, which is saying a lot because I used to hate squatting, but it's something that I focused on over the past three to four months. And of course, when you practice something, you get better. And when you get better at something, you learn to like it a little bit more. So that's my trainer tip for the day. Find something that you're not so great at that you would like to be better at and just start practicing it. Over time, you're gonna get better. And if you don't like it today, you'll soon find yourself liking it in the future. All right, again, you guys, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Give it a big old like, and then head over to my website, fitwomensweekly.net. I help runners all the time get in shape when it comes to their strength to be able to get new PRs and to stay on, off, off of the uninjured list. Words are hard. So check it out, and we'll get you set up with a strength training plan that you need to be the best runner and athlete possible. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. I'll see you back next week.